about Krishna and also some significance of visiting the most holy place, the holiest of all the holy places, Sri Nam Vrindavan. Okay, we take some more time and be settled. <laughs> okay, so first of all, uh, this is my great fortune that I am given this opportunity to speak among all of you. So, this is a uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam, in the third canto, this incident is coming where Vidura approaches Maitreya. Okay? And Vidura asks various questions from Maitreya Rishi about Krishna, about various things. So in return, Maitreya says to Vidura that it is actually the eagerness and the enthusiasm of the hearer or of the audience which enables the speaker to speak. So, a speaker should always be grateful to the audience. So, learning from that pastime, I am also very grateful to all of you because, because of your enthusiasm, your eagerness, your effort, I am given this opportunity to speak about Krishna while sitting in Holy Nam Sri Ram Vrindavan. So, I am so grateful to all of you. This Dham, uh, Vrindavan, Srila Prabhupada used to say that we cannot go to Vrindavan just by purchasing a ticket of flight or train. Right? But, see, all of, how many of us are here first time? Okay, so, uh, very new to Vrindavan. So, see, we all are very fortunate to be here in Vrindavan. From the material perspective, it's not a very great place. You will not see many big buildings or so many nice five-star hotels, so many nice food arenas and that you won't see. But from a spiritual point of view, this is the holiest of all the holy places. This is the best place where you can ever be in your life. And so we are we should be very grateful to Srila Prabhupada who made this possible for all of us. Because if Srila Prabhupada would have not been there for so many of us who are very grossly uh, before coming to Islam we were all engaged in our uh, duties like job or especially the technical side. Right? I was talking to one Prabhuji working in Intel. Right. So, we will never get this opportunity to come to such a place because once you do B.Tech or something then our first approach is somewhere New York or right, we never plan to come to Vrindavan. So, even being Indian we miss this opportunity but because of Srila Prabhupada we are here. So, this Holy Dham, Holy Name, Mahaprasadam, this all is there. But, see, even nearby Vrindavan, there are so many people, right? In Delhi, there are so many people who very rarely they come to Vrindavan. They are here, very near. But, that is why the importance of a devotee is given. Right? That a devotee will reveal you the things, right? Whether it is Dham, whether it is Holy Gita, whatever. Right? Gita has been there for many years. Right? In India and in so many cases it was there in the house of the person but they never read. Right? It is Prabhupada mercy which made us to open Gita. We have heard this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram. We have heard this mantra several times. Right? But we never knew the significance of it. We never chanted it as Japa. So, 
we express our heartfelt gratitude to Sri Prabhupada who made this possible and because of Prabhupada's mercy we are here in Sri Ramanda. So, uh, I don't know if you have visited uh, our Krishna Bhagavan Mandir, we visited. You visited Iskon Temple, Vrindavan. How many of you like that? So, some around, some around uh, 50 52 years back, this whole area was jungle. What is this place name? Vrinda. Vana means forest. So, this was full forest. Okay? And uh, the area where our Krishna Balram Mandir is called temple is there, that is called Raman Reti. That is the same place where Krishna Balram used to roll in the ground. You know? So that is the place. So this whole area was the jungle. When you, if you see Srila Prabhupada's old photos, you will find here he used to go for morning work, school jungle. But now you see so much development. Right? So when uh, Srila Prabhupada started his phone here at Krishna Balram temple again. Gradually, things has come up and this happens to every city wherever his phone goes. Right? His phone will start one temple somewhere in outer and then become the city. Right? So long, long back, I'll tell you something about the Vrindavan Dham. Krishna was there personally present as per Shastra, Krishna never leaves Vrindavan. He is always present in Vrindavan. He never leaves. Okay. But as a part of Leela, at the end of Dwapar Yuga, when Krishna left, after that, Krishna's great grandson, Vajrana, he installed many deities. Right? With, uh, and he took confirmation from Uttara. Right? So, those deities which Vajranav installed, Uttra, because at that time there was only Uttra, Uttra is Abhimanyu's wife, right? Parikshit Maharaj's mother. So she only saw Krishna, right? That time. Among whoever were present, out of, uh, among all of them, Uttra was the one who has seen Krishna face to face. So they took confirmation, right? He arranged to be caught so many deities. And Uttara, after seeing the deity, she told, there is one deity called Madan Mohanji. That was the first carved deity. And Madan Mohanji, Uttara said, the feet, the lotus feet of Madan Mohanji are exactly like Krishna. They are representing Krishna in the best manner. And then the second deity, Govindaji. So Krishna's face is exactly like Govindji. And when Krishna plays flute and other body part, it is like Gopinanji. So these are the main three deities. Madan Mohan, Govindji, Gopinanji. There is a very famous song in Islam, we sing these three names come there. Madan Mohan, Govindji, Gopinanji. So if you see Govindji, Madan Mohanji feet, Gopinathji body and Gopinathji face, then you have seen Krishna. Of course, all each deity represents Krishna, but the Uttara said this is the best. And there are there were some <coughs> other deities like Haridev, Keshav. Yesterday you have gone to Govardhan Parikrama, Mansi Ganga, you mean, right? In Mansi Ganga, there is a temple, Haridev Mandir. So, that Haridev ji, if you go to Janam Bhumi, there is a Keshav there. Then uh, Baldev and Govindev. These are four Dev of Vrindavan. So these deities were installed that time. And later on, so much time happened and almost 5000 years passed. Then these deities were somehow not visible. They were lost or somewhat happened. Then later on, when Krishna came again, as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That time, few of his disciples, who are very famous now in all Vrindavan, as Six Goswami, Sar Goswami. Right? So, I will request you, whoever are new and whoever came first time in Vrindavan, at least when they leave, 
from here back to Bangalore. Everybody is from Bangalore, right? So, okay. So when you go back, at least you remember the seven main Goswami's temple name and six Goswami's name. Right? Should I tell them? Yes. So first is Madan Mohan Temple. Okay, this is you can note down Madan Mohan Temple. So our process is Sambandha Vidya Prayojan. Madan Mohan Ji is Sambandha DT. Sambandha means knowing my position and Krishna's position. Who am I? Who is Krishna? I am servant, Krishna is master. This is called Sambandha. Very short I am telling. So if you worship Madan Mohan Ji, we will get this knowledge. So, Madan Mohan Ji is called our Sambandha Vikraha. Okay. Madan Mohan Ji was worshipped by Sanatan Goswami. One out of six. These are the six people whom Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent to Vrindavan. So, Sanatan Goswami is called our Sambandha Charya. Deity is Madan Mohan Ji. Then, Srila Rupa Goswami part. He is called Abhideya Acharya and he worshipped Sri Govindevji. Right? So, in order to, Abhideya means the process which will connect us with Krishna. So, that is called process. So, if we worship Govindji and we get mercy of Govindji and Srila Rupa Goswami, we will be perfect in process. And ultimately, the Prayojan is Krishna Prema. So, the Prayojan. DT is Gopinachi and the Vigre is Gopinachi and Acharya is Srila Raghunath Dasmesa. So out of six, three names I told you. Sanatan Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami and three Vigre I told you. Madan Mohanji, Gopinachi, Gopinachi. So six Goswami names are Sri Rupa, Sri Sanatan, Raghunath Bhatt, Raghunath Das, Gopal Bhatt, Jeev Goswami. Okay? Sri Rupa, Sri Sanatana, Bhatt Raghunath, Sri Jeev Gopal Bhatt, Das Raghunath. Like that you can remember. Seven temples. First is Madan Mohan Ji. So while today morning when we were going, if you have seen, uh, after Kali the, on a hill, there was a huge temple. This is the, one of the tallest temple of Sri Vrindavan, right? Did you see? Big yes. temple, right? So that is Madan Mohanji temple. And then, the one at the end we saw, which was close, that was Gopinathji temple. Before that we saw Radha Ramanji and before that Radha Gopalananda. How many? Four. And we went Radha Damodar and Radha Shyam Sundar. How many? Then, which one is remaining? Madan Mohan, Gopinath, Gopinji, Radha Raman, Radha Gopalan, Radha Shantanda, Radha Ramadan. Seven over. Right? So you can remember, if anyone wants, you can search, you can ask me, I will give. You should remember six Goswami names and seven temples. These are the main. So Vrindavan, after Krishna went, quite a year past, it was Pakka forest. Nothing was here, only forest. And many of people don't even know this is Vrindavan. Today we have seen this is Kali there, and then when we were going to Radha Ramanji temple, that curve where Vitsa was very small road, you remember that? There was a tree and some crops were hanging. That is Chirgan, where Krishna stole the crops of gopis. Right? So this place is Chirghat, this place is Kali Dai, who knows? Nobody knew, right? Nobody knew this. But it was the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, that he sent these six Goswamis who are actually the eternal associate of Krishna, right? Some are Manjaris, some are Gopas, like that. So they came and they, as the part of Leela, they revealed these holy places, these Leela places to us. And they wrote so many books, they wrote, they told people this is called the Yamuna, this is this, this is this. Right? Yesterday you might have seen Radha Kund, right? That Radha Kund nobody knew, it was just a water body. 
I yesterday you must have heard the glories of Radha Kund. So nobody knew that. But when Sri Ch- Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, his uh, leg went in that water body and he got this ecstasy. And then he revealed that actually it is Radha Kund. So in this way, we when we are now in Vrindavan and wherever we will go after this and we will tell to the people. So we must remember that if we are today able to visit Vrindavan, this is the mercy of these Acharyas. Okay. Because without Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's effort and Six Goswami's effort, we will never understand, we will never know Vrindavan. This is whenever I am given an opportunity to speak about Vrindavan, I emphasize on this. That we must understand who revealed this Dham. Now in the world, so many people know about Vrindavan and there are so many ashram in Vrindavan and there are so many people coming from all over the world. But very few know the six people name who actually live in Vrindavan. Right? They come, they see and they go, but they don't know who brought this, the whole concept, right? So we must understand that. So, Sri Vrindavan, if you have noticed here, even Rikshawala say, what? Right? So, before 500 years back, nobody was knowing Srimati Radharani in that way. Like in so much globally, right? So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu only brought this idea from Shastra, Radha, and Krishna. That's why if you see the olden temples, some 600 years, 700 years old temple, if you see, you will find Krishna alone. Right? I, don't, I have not seen all the temples, but I have seen Sri Rangam. Krishna alone. I went to Anandapatnava Swami in Tiruvananthapuram, where Krishna alone, Tiruvatta Radhikeshwar, Krishna alone is standing. So, and if you go in North India, also olden temples, you will find Krishna alone. And today, if you have seen our temple, which one we have seen? Radha, Damodar Mandir. Did you notice one thing that all the degree of Krishna are black, the stone deity? And Radha Rani is, so actually these deities were there only, Krishna and Srimati Radha Rani came later on. Janva Mata brought, there are so many pastimes of everyone. Today we went to Shishi Radha Sham Sundar Mandir. There also only Sham Sundar was there and Radha Rani manifested herself in Bharatpur Raja's uh, treasury. And so she came later on. So, this Radha and Krishna worship started from there. It was there in Shastra, but it is the most secret thing. So, this secret was revealed and freely distributed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Right? So, that's why today everyone in Vrindavan they chant Radha Rani's name. Right? Because Radha Rani is more merciful than Krishna. So, if you we are here and now we know this because this Kartik month is whose month? Srimati Radharani month. Because it's Srimati Radharani month, that's why Krishna loves us most. Right? So, again, why I am telling these all things so that we know how this thing is started. Right? And then, those times this was full forest, and then when these six Goswamis were sent by Mahaprabhu, then here. Sanatana Goswami established the first temple of Vrindavan, that is Madan Mohan temple. Okay. So, this Madan Mohan Ji deity was actually installed in that temple. Now, later on, when the Aurangzeb time, God of Vrindavan temple was um, demolished or damaged, so some deities went on other state in other places. Right. So I will tell you, we went to Radha Damodar Mandir. So this mandir, as Sri Rishi Radha Damodar Mandir, I told already that Prabhupada was staying there, of course, I have already explained. So when Jeev Goswami was having this desire to worship deity, 
So you have seen in the center, Radha Damodar was there. So he was having this desire, and then Krishna appeared in dream to see the Rupa Goswami. And he told to Rupa Goswami to carve a deity. Actually, Krishna wanted to manifest as a deity, but he made Sri Rupa Goswami as an instrument. And then Sri Rupa Goswami carved this deity and gave it to Jeev Goswami, and then onwards Jeev Goswami was worshipping. Right. So these are the most authentic deities of Vrindavan. Right now there are so many new temples in Echo and you will see so many nice deities. They are all also nice. But these seven temples which I told, these are the most authentic deities of Vrindavan. So that was uh, uh, Radha. Then we have one Radha Shamsundar, which was the deity Srimati Radharani manifested herself from her heart. Right? So that it is worshipped there. We have seen the small one. Do you remember that? Right? And I tell you the story of Radharavanji also. Radharavanji Darshan we got, na, you remember very small Vikra was there. Right? Radharaman, actually, uh, Gopal Bhatt Goswami, out of six, one is Gopal Bhatt Goswami who was from Sri Lanka. So, Gopal Bhatt Goswami was the son of the head priest of Sri Rangam Ranganathji temple, right? You will know Ranganath Swami temple. So, he was the son of the head priest of that temple. So, during the Chatur Mas, this four month is called Chatur Mas, so Chatur Mas during his South Indian Yatra, he stayed there and Gopal Bhatt was serving him. So, when four months was completed, then Mahaprabhu was coming and leaving that place, then Gopal Bhatt expressed his desire to continue and go with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu told that you be here and you serve your parents and when there will be proper time, I will call you. So later on, after the disappearance of his parents, he came to Vrindavan, he joined the Dasis Goswami. So, Gopal Bhatt Goswami was having 12 Saligram Silas. How many? So every day he will worship 12 Saligram Sila. And uh, <coughs> this is, these all pastimes of his Goswamis will reveal us that how, when the desire develops within the heart of the devotee, how Krishna fulfills those desires. Right? So even if we want to have some spiritual desire, like if somebody may think, how can I visit Vrindavan? But if he has this strong desire to visit one day Vrindavan, then Krishna will make arrangements. So Gopal Bhatt Goswami, he had got this desire. Actually what happened? Some uh, businessman came to Vrindavan and he offered some nice ornament of deities to Gopal Bhatt Goswami. Some earrings, some nose rings, some dresses, garlic, necklaces, very nice and jewelry and dresses, ornaments he offered to Gopal Bhatt Goswami. But Gopal Bhatt Goswami is having Shaligram. So he was thinking, how can I serve Lord by these ornaments? And because Shaligram is different uh, vigre, different form. And Sham Sundar Gopina is different form. Right? So he developed this desire, oh, it would have been so nice if I would have one deity and I would have been able to serve Krishna by these all of things. So, because of his desire, Krishna did some leela. And when he was sleeping, so tonight he did all the service to Shaligram and he slept nicely. He woke up morning, he again went to the Shaligram and uh, for his morning worship and he found what? One Shaligram is missing and then he was in full tension. What happened? And then he was searching here there. So nearby only he found that one Shaligram became Vigray and that Vigray is Radharama. Shishi Radharaman Vivi so, Radharamanji is the most, you see, we should not say in that way, but of course, some devotees say, Prajavasi, the most beautiful form of 
all the Vrindavan temples. We cannot compare, but some devotees say. So, very small deity, and some devotee come there with uh, this. What do you call this? Yeah. See, if you see very close, sometimes they bring out. Today, DT was inside, huh? sometimes they bring out. And then you can see very clearly. His, his lips are, means somehow arranged that one teeth is coming out. That means you can see one teeth also. It's very rare to see teeth inside the big red. You, know? so you see very closely, if you get a high definition picture, I think here in the reception they have some. So, teeth are there. Very beautiful. So many people come only to see Radharam. They come, they take Radharam and they go home. So, uh, when we were coming out from the temple, there was a long corridor, the right side under the tree, this happened. This Sanidra became Radharam. And just there was the Samadhi of Sri Gopalakya And so, this is a Radharam temple. And uh, yeah, so Radha, on the way we have seen this, uh, this uh, after Mother Mohan temple we went to Gokulanan temple, right? So Gokulanan temple, uh, Gokula, Radha Gokulanan somehow we could not take darshan, but I tell you what happened there. So one special thing, Gokulanan is also very small with there, you know, and uh, very nice devotee was there. Krishna Chakravarti Thakur, we, we have seen his Samadhi. He is the one of the greatest Acharya in our Parampara. He gave the most powerful uh, commentary. Right? Srila Prabhupada, in his purport, he referred to maximum time Krishna Chakravarti Thakur. So, he is a, like disciple, Narottam Das Thakur's disciples, disciples, disciples is he. Okay? So, he was also here somewhere in Vrindavan and one day he was chanting nicely in Japa. So, uh, one very nice thing happened that day that when, while, while we were chanting, one nice Brahman boy came and he is sitting and doing Japa and this person, this boy came and he was having some something in his hand and he dropped in front of him and he ran away. And he ran and after some time disappeared also. It's like the children will play, no? That sound and round the game and that side you have to drop something and then. Like that this boy came and dropped and ran away. And then after some distance he disappeared. And then Krishna Jai Thakur said, what is this? And he opened, this is Diti. And that it is Gokulam and Diti. And then he was feeling so, because of his humility, he was feeling that he is not qualified to serve Diti. So, he was thinking, oh, how can I serve, how can I serve like this? Then in dream, Gokulana only told him that I want to be served by you. <coughs> so then he served and that deity is there in the temple, very small deity. And there also one Shalika, one Govardhan Shila is also there. Somehow we could not see. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was holding this Govardhan Shila while doing Kirtan. And because of this ecstasy, Melted. Few places this happened. From the Alarna temple also, the stone was melted in Ma and the Jagannath Puri temple when he put his hand, the three finger um, the stone was melted and this imprint came there. Same this Govardhan Shila and that he gave to Jagannath Goswami. So that also kept there. And uh, so we have all time. Or, or uh, Govindji, first time I can tell now, so that we don't have to tell you. So now we are going Govindji. <coughs> so that will take some time. But there we will save time. That will be nice. Huh? Yes. At least one day here and then go to the good. So, with Prabhuji's permission, one more. Now we are visiting Govindji temple. Right? So, Govindji is very important. 
बिकॉज एवरीथिंग एज आई सेड गोविंद जी इज अवर अभिनय विक्रय प्रोसेस तो आई टेल दैट पास टाइम एंड देन वी मूव टू द क्वेश्चन सो श्री गोविंद जी इज द ही वाज वर्शिप्ड बाय श्री रूप गोस्वामी है ना सो एज आई सेड दैट लॉन्ग बैक व्हेन गोस्वामी केम हियर बाय द ऑर्डर ऑफ महाप्रभु सो दे वर देयर दिस वाज द सर्विस गिवन टू देम दे वर ऑलवेज मेडिटेटिंग एंड ट्राइंग टू रिवील द पास्ट टाइम एंड they were trying to find out these deities installed by bhajanath and especially these three deities were main to be uh, revealed to the world which are that madan mohan ji gobind ji and gopinath ji so shri rup goswami actually he did so many services so many grand so much but he was having this one problem or one what you can say one desire was not fulfilled and that was he was not able to find out where is gobind ji so he was always sad because of that and he was so disturbed because of that because he was not able to fulfill the order of mahaprabhu he was not able to know where is gobind ji all the time he was searching he will go to each and every houses thinking that maybe some prajwasis house they have hidden right but they don't know where is gobind ji and then one day near uh, jamuna ghat on the bank of river yamuna he was crying actually is simply crying why he was so sad actually that kind of when we are not able to fulfill the order of our spiritual master that pain should come she was having that pain and then one boy came see this is the boy every time he comes <laughs> so he came there and he said to rupa goswami baba why you are so sad he actually he was so sad so depressed that he did not even he did not think that oh he is a boy a simple small village boy what he will understand my pain i am on the order of mahaprabhu handling big movement you know he he just out of his uh, because he asked he just poured his heart oh somebody came to hear my pain na so simply sometime you no know, for even children they will tell so like that rupa goswami told his pain to this boy that actually i am giving this order to find out shri gobind dev ji and i am not able to find him. so that was the um, that is the cause of my sadness so this uh, boy said that's it i know i know this how you know that is not important what is important i know where is gobind ji so he said how you know can you show me he said yeah see there is uh, one place called goma tila or in olden days they called go mata tila or in english you can say go mata hill right in uh, local they used to say goma tila you know tila means a hill okay so this boy said see there is one place called goma tila and uh, there every day this is very interesting there every day one cow comes actually that is surabi cow but people don't know so every day at the same time this cow will come there and at the see, there is one point on that hill on that point she will stand there and she will pour all the milk and after pouring the milk on that place she will go and when you if you go and check there there will not be any milk so i <coughs> that is the place then rupa goswami understood yes that is the place so they he came with the boy and they were hiding there and they were waiting for cow to come so when so then after some time that the time as the boy said the same time the cow came she stood the same very place and then cow poured the milk and she went and immediately the rupa goswami could not resist he just went to see the place and he saw there was no milk 
and it was confirmed. And then he turned back to tell the boy that thank you so much. Boy was also not there. Right? So then Rup Goswami got it and he called all the villagers and they were digging out and he was always very careful also. Because Govind Dev is there. So very carefully after some time they saw a very nice Vikra. Do you see Govind Dev Ji Ki? So after that uh, actually this uh, that was the time of Akbar. So in his under Akbar there was one king Raja Man Singh who was disciple of Raghunandas Goswami and uh, under him there was another king or maybe his son, I don't remember exactly, Raja Jai Singh, who was the king of Jaipur. So actually this uh, uh, Raja Man Singh, he only constructed this temple of Govindji. Whoever have not seen, they will see so huge temple. <coughs> and now it is only four, three floor. Okay. There were seven floor. This is very nice. There were actually seven floors in Govindji temple. So huge structure. Okay. And on top of the seventh floor, there was one Sharoka, you know, in Rajasthani culture you see. So in that, Pujari will light one lamp. Okay? On seventh floor. And that lamp light can be seen from Red Fort in Agra. Agra is some 70 km from here. And that belonged to whom? Aurangzeb. So, he will see from there what is this and that glory of temple created some envy within this king and then he actually came to destroy the temple. He could not see how such, such thing is uh, taller than my own palace. So, he started destroying it. And then one floor gone, two floor gone like that, four floor gone. And then they further continued, then the whole temple and land was trampling. And then these people who were the labor, they got afraid and they ran away. And then nobody agreed to further uh, break the temple. So actually that time, uh, this Akbar, during the Akbar kingdom, this all thing happened, all the Goswamis and this thing. And yesterday we were going to Radha Kund, that whole area, Radha Kund area, Akbar actually, um, he announced and officially he gave that area to Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Gaudiya Vaishnavas means the followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Why? Sanatan Goswami, this is a nice story, you will, you, you will, you may know already. Sanatan Goswami was having one Paras money. You know about Paras money? Whatever you touch, it becomes gold. So there was one uh, person, his wife told uh, to him that you should go to that uh, Goswami and you should ask about, for Parash money. Anyway, he is not using, at least they will use. So he came and he asked. So Sanatan Goswami told him, uh, actually he was feeling little this thing, why should I ask? Sanatan Goswami said, don't worry, whatever you came, you ask. And he asked this Parash money. So he said, okay, I'll give you, but you have to go and get it. I have no time to give you. I will tell you the place where it is kept and you go and get it. So he said, go to this place. What actually the place was where Sanatan Goswami will go every morning to do his morning activities. Okay. So he will use two stone. One was normal stone, one was this Parasmani stone. Okay. That was the value for Parasmani for Sanatan Goswami. So Sanatan Goswami said, you go there, take that Parasmani and keep another stone in that place. That's it. And this guy took it and he went back to his wife and he said to his wife, whole story where he kept. Wife was intelligent. She said, you are fool. Why? Are the person who is using Parasmani in such place, that means he has something more valuable. What is that? So you go and get it then. So again he went. And then Sanatan Goswami said, and now you are asking properly. So he gave him Harina. And after getting Harina, he never went back on me. <laughs> okay. So 
this and then what happened this parasmani this parasmani he thrown in yamuna okay and this news went to akbar and akbar could not digest this he came he came with the elephants and he made so arrange such a arrangement that all the elephants went inside the river for searching that parasmani but they could not find it. and akbar was depressed and they all the elephant came and while all the elephant were going back akbar noticed one thing out of all one elephant in the elephant leg there is a chain na that chain became golden so they could not find the parasmani but somewhere it touched the chain of that elephant and it became gold and then akbar believed yes he understood the glories of sanatan goswami and because of that he declared this whole area i am giving to gaudiya vaishnavas right similarly uh, gopinath another deity right during british time gopinath ji one british general came to gopinath ji mandir right that vigra is presently in jaipur he said why you are giving this all food to this stone whether he eat pujari looked him like this then he said does it have any life so that time this britishers brought a new uh, watch which works when there is heart beat so if there is no heart beat it will not work so this pujari said give me your watch okay so he removed and he gave and uh, then it was not working because no heart beat and then the same watch he put in the hand of gopinath ji and started working till now this is the only vigra only deity of gopinath where uh, along with all the sringar you will see a watch so time is up we'll wind up hari krishna shilpa baba ki yeah.